welcome. And thank you for joining us at Our Daily Bread Ministries for this evening's meditative podcast. Tonight, we're reflecting on the forgiveness Jesus displayed on the cross. As we begin, calm your heart by taking some deep breaths. Try to get as comfortable as possible. Today is finished. It's now time to hand its joys and its burdens to the Lord. Come now as you are and surrender yourself to his mighty power and love at work within you. Be still and dwell in his word of life and hope. Father, thank you for the forgiveness you have shown me in Jesus Christ. Take my breath away again this evening as I meditate on his sacrifice for me. Luke chapter 23 verses 33 to 34 says when they came to the place called the skull they crucified him there along with the criminals one on his right the other on his left jesus said father forgive them for they do not know what they are doing and they divided up his clothes by casting lots. As he died, Jesus prayed from the cross, but probably not the prayer we would expect. He didn't say, Father, may this pass quickly, or show these people how evil they are being to execute the Son of God. Instead, he prayed for their forgiveness. They were literally sharing out his clothes for themselves in front of him. There was no remorse, no regret, no shame humiliated, in pain and alone, Jesus still looked on his enemies and us with compassion. Forgiving others isn't easy, but because of Jesus' death on the cross, it is really possible. When we forgive others, we are extending the forgiveness of Jesus himself, the very forgiveness we were offered even as he died in our place. Forgiveness comes from our Father's heart, so let's draw near even in our most painful moments, just as Jesus did, to draw on his infinite well of grace and love. As we turn to prayer, breathe deeply working out any tension with long, slow exhales. The presence of the Lord is a place of rest and peace. 
do this breathing exercise to relax your body, refocus your heart, and become aware of the presence of our Almighty God, who promises to hear every word on our lips and in our hearts. So breathe in and out. And in and out. Let's pray. Dear Jesus, how incredible that you would give your life for mine. You didn't have to die on the cross, yet you chose to, so that I would be forgiven of all sin. Lord, I give you all that I am tonight. Lord God, in this moment, bring to mind anyone I need to forgive. Protect me from a heart of bitterness and help me to show your forgiveness to these people. Colossians chapter 3 verses 12 to 14 says, As God's chosen people, holy and dearly loved, clothe yourselves with compassion, kindness, humility, gentleness and patience. Bear with each other and forgive one another. If any of you has a grievance against someone, Forgive as the Lord forgave you, and over all of these virtues put on love, which binds them all together in perfect unity. Let's close with a final prayer. Heavenly Father, you call me to live with the love and forgiveness of Jesus. This is impossible on my own. But as I reflect on what it cost Jesus to save me, how can I refuse to forgive anyone else? May tomorrow be marked with his grace and compassion. In his name. Amen.